Yo, professor, I heard it's time for Dr. Payan. You heard that right. Because log 3 of 5 or log 5 of 9, which one is bigger and why? So consider here the difference, which you can write as ln of 5 my over ln of 3, our good friend ln DeGeneres, minus ln of 9, which is 2 ln of 3, over ln of 5. And then putting this under a common denominator, we get ln of 5 squared minus 2 ln of 3 squared over ln of 3 times ln of 5. And so, the question boils down to the following. Is the numerator positive or negative? And here, I do suspect it to be positive, but it's just a suspicion because I know the answer. And so, do we have ln of 5 squared is bigger than 2 ln of 3 squared? Or equivalently, do we have ln of 5 is bigger than square root of 2 ln of 3. But the nice thing is the right hand side can also be written as an ln. So do we have ln of 5 is bigger than ln of 3 to the square root of 2? And finally removing the ln, the question boils down to do we have 3 square root of 2 is less than 5 or not. And what I'm going to present to you now is what I like to call the analysis way or the applied math way. Because square root of 2 is a very weird number, let's replace it by a fraction. So square root of 2, it is true that it's less than 3 halves just by squaring both sides. And so in particular, 3 to the square root of 2 is less than 3 to the 3 halves. But 3 cubed, that's 27, so that's square root of 27. Oh, darn it! What we would like is that 3 square root of 2 is less than square root of 25, which would give us 5. But here we have 27, which is a little bit of an overshoot. So it turns out our first guess was too coarse. And so let's refine it a little bit by considering a slightly smaller fraction. Well, 3 halves didn't work. Let's try out 10 sevenths which, again, you can check is true by squaring both sides. And then 3 to the square root of 2 is less than 3 to the 10 seventh. And the question now is, is this less than 5? Or, in other words, is 3 to the 10th less than 5 to the 7th? Or is 9 to the 5th less than 5 seventh. And now let's try to figure out this much easier question. And in order to do this, let's consider the ratio. So 9 to the 5th over 5 to the 7th. Well, what this is, it's 9 but 5 times. So 81 times 81 times 9. 9, das gibt's doch nicht. And 5 to the 7th, which is 125 times 125 times 5. Which now you can rewrite as 81 over 127. 125, 81 over 125, and 9 fifths. But Here's a trick that saves your day. So 81 over 125, that's roughly 80 over 120, which is 2 thirds. And in fact, you can check that each fraction is less than 2 thirds. So it's less than 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 9 fifths. Now the 9 cancels out with the 3s, 
and we get 4 fifths, but 4 fifths is less than 1, which tells us that 9 to the fifths is less than 5 to the seventh. And in turn, what this implies is that log 3 of 5 is indeed bigger than log 5 of 9. So here, it's the first contestant that reigns supreme in our battle of the logs. Woo! All right, I hope you like this and make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time.